education proposal in the House might not save the state much money, but it could really cut some costs for local school districts. Continuing this coverage tonight, we join our political reporter Josh Hinkle over at the state capitol. Josh. Leslie, this is something that Representative Scott Hawkbird actually said earlier on our Session 11 program on Sunday. He doesn't want kids uh, in certain grades to have to take the tox test. Instead, kids would only have to take the test in third, fifth, and eighth grades. And if they pass during those grades, they would be exempt from taking it during other grades. This goes for reading, math, or both. Hawkbird says that 95% of the time, a student who performs well on tox one year will pass the following. Year. So why waste all those resources, time, and skills by focusing on something unnecessary? And though it would be a different amount for every school, this would save school districts money in test preparation, grading, and reporting. Plus, it would give teachers the ability to teach curriculum going beyond those test preps. But it saves money at the local level. It uh, changes the attitudes of what you're doing in that classroom if you're not focused so much on that test. Now those students who don't pass the test in those years will have to keep taking it until they do, but because all of those other students who did pass it won't be taking it, that will give teachers the ability to focus on those at-risk students a little bit more. For now, we're live at the State Capitol. Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.